So first you'll need to use a white foundation. This one here is from Creolon, once again, but I just ran out of this, so you probably won't be seeing much of this anymore, unfortunately. So sad, I know, but um... First you want to apply that to your entire face, as so. Then taking this sponge by Pure Cosmetics, I'm blending this all in. Afterwards, taking this loosening powder by Ben Nye, and with a powder brush, setting all my makeup. Then, brushing off the excess with a fan brush. As you can see, I'm quite happy about this. Oh yes. Now for eyeshadow. I'm taking this green eyeshadow right here from the Kat Von D Movie the Loca palette. It's called Misfit. So starting in the inner corners of your eyes, you want to start drawing in little squiggles and lines to imitate a watercolor painting that's sort of like leaking outwards, if that makes sense. So there shouldn't be any harsh lines or like any repeating patterns. I literally just scrub this in, referencing watercolor photos to help me along. This is really hard for me to explain, so I apologize if it's not that helpful, but it's just one of these things where you have to sort of see it instead of like being told it. I am making sure that both sides of my eyes are even, but not exact. I'll also be adding more eyeshadows on top. So I'm taking Lemmy from that same palette, which is a um, mossy, darker green color, I guess you could say. And I'm going along the edges of this design. I'm really just emphasizing the design of it and um, the borders of it since when watercolor um, sort of seeps out and dries down, the edges of the watercolor will usually have a darker appearance to them. You'll also see me using the same color on its own away from the um, vibrant green color. I'm just using that to draw in more faint designs around the outer parts of my eyes. And this will once again add more depth to this look. Just so you know what I'm doing here. So afterwards, you want to go in with a pretty bright yellow color. This color is called Fran. I really love this palette, by the way. It's pretty good. But um, I'm just taking that on the same liner brush. And where there are any open areas or spots, I'm adding the yellow color right there. And this is because when you reference the um, painting I'm looking at, you can see there are little spots of yellow in between the green watercolor. So that's what I'm doing that for. Then I'm taking this dark brown color from that same palette once again. Yes, we'll be using this quite a lot and right on the outer corners of my eyes where I apply the dark green shadow on its own. I'm adding in the brown to make the design stand out even more.
I'm also using this to line my upper eyelids, connecting that with the design. Now I'm taking this white liquid eyeliner. And for this look, it's very important that I use a white liner that is not opaque. And you'll see why here. So taking only a tiny amount of it, you want to apply this in any open areas in this design. You only want to add a subtle hint of white here. Then you want to use your favorite mascara. This is mine, it's from NYX. You have probably seen it in multiple tutorials before, I really love it. It's really good for lengthening lashes, which um, I really need help in that department, right? Right, so um, then applying these custom set of false lashes I made with paper, construction paper that is, and um, I lower lashes. Now back to my face, hello, once again. First you want to take a green shadow and apply this to your philtrum, as so. Then apply some taupe shadow to the bottom half of your nose to make it stand out even more. Then taking this blue shadow from that same palette, which is called Dark Wave, I'm taking a pencil brush, and on one side of my forehead, I'm drawing in little cloud shapes. Now if you're not sure how to do this, all you have to do is draw the top half of a cloud, but don't fill in the bottom. I actually learned this technique while I was oil painting and following a Bob Ross video, so... I decided why not do it with eyeshadows, right? Works pretty well. Woohoo. I'm just taking that same white liquid eyeliner and applying that to any spaces in between these clouds. Only using a tiny amount of it and swirling this brush around to really um, diffuse the color, so to speak. Then I'm taking this purple shadow, called Echo. Then using a smaller brush, I am attempting to draw a bird on the side of my face. Um, it didn't really turn out very well, so um, ignore that. Afterwards, I kind of smartened up and realized I cannot draw birds on my face, so I decided to draw very simple birds by simply drawing little V's all across my forehead, as so. Also copying the painting, I'm drawing in little um, textures on the side of my face, and the way I'm doing this is that I'm filling in the negative space first, while leaving the spaces in between these um, negative spaces blank. And this will make it really pop out more. Now on to the lips. I'm using this macaron lipstick called Earl Grey despite it being light blue, what? Um, from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm just applying this to my top and bottom lip.
then I'm using this very vibrant blue color from the Urban Decay, um, what's it called? E-Electric Palette. Oh yes, I never use this. I really should use it more often. I should, but um, I'm just applying that to my lips to create a slight gradient effect. In the center of my lips, I'm taking this shimmery purple color from Sugar Pill and just brushing that right in. Then topping that with a shimmery white color, which is called Diamond Eyes, also from Sugar Pill. For a final touch, I'm applying this as a highlighter to my nose tip and the sides of my cheeks. And da da da, this look is finished. Here is my makeup look inspired by Stephanie Law. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you so desire to. And hit subscribe and the bell icon if you wish to see more videos from me. With that said, I will see you later. Bye.